Okay everyone, this should be the last video in this series of how to create Android hubs. Um, and all I'm going to show you right now really is how to go ahead and get these backgrounds, uh, separate backgrounds for each of these home screens. So go ahead and go to the long press menu, go to wallpapers, go to live wallpapers, and then we're going to select multi-picture live wallpaper which is right there you click on that and you're going to go to settings once you get into settings because our game hub is on screen 6 we're going to go into game uh, screen 6 settings and then we're going to set the picture source I have it on a single picture right now which is the SOCOM picture that you've seen in all the other videos um, but we're gonna go ahead and do picture folder and what this is gonna allow us to do is if you tap on the screen it'll go ahead and change the wallpaper on that particular page I can have it do it for other pages but for now we're just gonna go ahead I'll show you how to do it and you can do that for all your other uh, hubs as well so folder path and then my wallpapers are in the picture folder and I suggest you put your pictures your wallpapers on your tablet memory storage instead of on your memory card because if you take that memory card out say for instance you're swapping in, in music or movies that are on another SD card the pictures will disappear from the tablet so put it on the tablet storage and not the SD card so we hit wallpaper and these many these names of the folders will be different I actually uh, separated mine into different folders so as you can see here there's books and music calendar just cool ones movies news office social text and of course video games so we're clicking on video games and then since it's on video games we want them to, we want the wallpaper to change to eat any of these here so we're gonna press OK and then we're gonna press OK again and then we're gonna back out hit the back button and hit it again and then we're going to set wallpaper so now you'll see and that's the Sony Vita I pre-ordered that now if we tap on the screen it'll go ahead and change to different wallpapers So that's pretty much it guys. I would suggest you go ahead and play around with all these different functions that I showed you um, because it can do a lot more than uh, what you actually see right here and you can get pretty unique with your user interface and set up your tablet exactly how you want it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Until then, you all take care.